Jedi. A god does not prattle with mortals. Ten reality-altering and hideous Justice League dark villains explored. What do the Joker, Loki, Venom and Harley Quinn have in common? They are all villains, but people absolutely adore them. Whether it's their unique characteristics and features or their backstories, there's something about a well-written villain that really catches the attention of the viewing audience. And that is why we bring you 10 of the best villains from the Justice League Dark DC Comics and talk about what makes them oh so special. A lot of people underestimate Justice League Dark. Their villains, on the other hand, are nothing to to laugh at. Only one squad of heroes and misfits in the DC comic universe has been able to keep the darkness out of the magical realm and that team is the Justice League. Dark. The squad is notorious for gathering together some of the DC universe's most powerful magic users and animals to confront the darkest forces known to mankind. This alternate Justice League has taken down scores of weird and twisted opponents while serving as a barrier against the dark forces of magic. The JLD enemies make the Justice Justice League's rogues gallery look like child's play, with ancient evils, extra-dimensional entities and even former heroes converted to the dark side by the dark arts. Today we are looking at the 10 scariest villains the JLD had to battle. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Yes. Yes. My will be done. Dr. Destiny. Many Arrowverse fans will recognize John Deegan, nicknamed Dr. Destiny, as a villain not to be taken lightly. He is a longtime villain who has earned the ability to influence reality through the use of the fabric of dreams. The villain has frequently been a nemesis of the Justice League and in the New 52 he was most recently an opponent of the Justice League Dark. John Deegan was a student of John Constantine in the 1500s and the son of veteran DC Comics character Madame Xanadu, according to the New 52 rewritten backstory of the villain. During Forever Evil, he was also released from prison by the crime syndicate and joined the secret society of supervillains. He is a crazed sorcerer who believes himself to be a god and seeks full power and dominion over the earth. Destiny will go to any length to fulfill his objectives tormenting everyone with horrific nightmares and misery until they surrender to his dominion. He eventually becomes a villain for the main Justice League as well as the cause for the formation of Justice League Dark, a sub-branch of the Justice League that specializes in fighting both normal magic users and the powers of hell. Destiny is a powerful sorcerer who has been shown to be able to make illusions, generate virtually unbreakable force barriers, bring demons under his command and cast a range of potent spells with seemingly little effort, even when he was at his lowest. Destiny had previously been proven to be a powerful individual capable of summoning weapons in an instant to kill a competent knight. Even if his body is severely wounded or destroyed, he will not perish because his life is linked to the Dreamstone, rendering him eternal with a way to return until it is destroyed. The Dreamstone is directly responsible for the majority of his strength, making him fallible when separated from it. Here's what real magic looks like. Felix Faust. The beginnings of Felix Faust are largely unclear. However, Felix Faust's first reported appearance dates from 5000 BC when he emerged in the legendary African Empire of Kor. Nomo, the greatest wizard of his day and protector of the mystic power known as the Flame of Life, was the king of Kor, and he defeated the sorcerer, banishing him to another dimension. Deacon Drake, a maniac and aspiring magician, discovered the dimension and opened the gateway in the mid-1920s. The sorcerer was freed and invaded Drake's body, destroying his soul. Despite being back on Earth, the sorcerer's abilities were greatly weakened. Obsessed with reclaiming his mystic power, the sorcerer read about a guy named Faust who sold his soul to the devil in exchange for extraordinary abilities and did the same. Felix Faust was a villain sorcerer who fought the Justice League. He is an immortal entity fascinated with the pursuit of mystical knowledge, having struck a literal pact with the devil. Felix, unlike Satana and Constantine, who must speak incantations to summon their magic, is so powerful and confident in his magic that he can summon it at will. His abilities include conjuring energy blasts which he employed to summon missiles and beams during his combat with JLD, 
he can also create energy barriers to protect himself from John Constantine's fireballs and Satanus blasts. He can also summon demons with ease and when Etrigan broke into his sanctorum, he summoned a slew of demons to deal with him. Faust is frequently seen levitating on a magical platform since he possesses the power of levitation. If that wasn't enough, he's also telekinetic, as evident by his ability to lift a block of ice. He possesses the power to build energy constructs, as seen by his fabrication of a snake to restrain Deadman. Finally, he has the ability to manipulate elements such as water and ice, which he used to restrain Constantine and Satana. Faust has faced the Justic League Dark on a few occasions and he always seemed to lose to them. When he was a feeble old man, he took them on one of the last times and he didn't do so well. Tonight, my people will be avenged! Eclipso. Eclipso, also known as the Prince of Darkness, is a strong villain that has wrecked havoc on the DC Universe and has clashed with members of the Justice League Dark. When the Wrath of God and the Angel of Vengeance turned sour, Eclipso was born and has since become a villain in the DC Universe. Eclipso was recently revealed to be an inhabitant of Gemworld, known as the Kala of the planet Gila. In the New 52, while possessing several humans and continually being housed in a diamond known as the Heart of Darkness. He was banished and imprisoned in a diamond, which was put away on the dark side of the moon. However, the stone was found in Africa by a treasure hunter who tried breaking it and separated it into a thousand different pieces in the process. They were strewn around the planet, each holding a sliver of wickedness. Eclipso's physiology is unusual, and an off-color blue-gray or purple circle would emerge over the rightmost two-thirds of his face, resembling a partial eclipse. He possesses and controls humans using a variety of abilities, including energy projection. He can also fly and is immune to the majority of physical attacks. He can manipulate magic to suit his needs and desires and, most importantly, he can possess individuals and force them to accomplish his evil deeds. He can also spread his abilities, shift and adjust his size, and has superhuman strength. All of these combined to make him a dangerous and ancient foe to face. By virtue of his divine empowerment over reality within the bounds of his duty, Eclipso had virtually limitless power when acting as the agent of fury for the presence. He was robbed of his skills, but he is determined to reclaim them and bring the world to an end. Eclipso has become a formidable antagonist for not only the JLD but also the other heroes. With a forthcoming debut in Stargirl, Eclipso may be able to set the bar for DC TV villains as well. Hecate. During the witching hour, Hecate, an omnipotent deity, rose up against the JLD. A goddess from the Greek pantheon of gods lived for thousands of years and used great magic uses to carry out her will. Hecate tore through the world, spreading havoc and destruction. Hecate was worshipped as the maiden and then the mother and her power was revered by mankind and she was also supposed to marry Hades, the god of the underworld. Mankind eventually became aware of Hecate's enormous power and strove to seize it. Hecate was summoned by a ceremony and chained by humans. Imprisoned in a prison, she couldn't escape for eons. Hecate was approached by Hades after years of solitude, informing her that he had taken a new bride and that she was no longer welcome at the gates of Olympus. In her anger, she tore a hole in magic with all of her rage, allowing some of the darkness to break through the curtain of existence. She gave this black magic to the Earth's magicians, hoping that they would use it to destroy their own race, and it was at this point that a a new and different version of Hecate emerged, the crone. The crone was pure evil, desiring nothing more than for all living things to suffer. Hecate, being a goddess, was immortal and had immense power ranging from necromancy to altering reality. She can teleport and conjure up illusions. Any sort of magic that you can think of, she can do. Her control over magic is absolute because of her divine ability, which makes her an absolutely terrifying foe. This character is based on Hecate, a legendary figure from Greek mythology. Hecate was finally defeated when Diana summoned up the Upside Down Man who feasted on Hecate, putting an end to her reign of horror. Upside Down Man 
More and more villains have appeared in recent comics to take against the Justice League Dark. The Upside Down Man, a terrifying and extra-dimensional entity, is the most well-known of them all. The Upside Down Man was born when creation gave birth to magic. Hecate, the first magical being, was formed when the magic in its raw form transformed into a dazzling light. In the other place, the Upside Down Man was formed from the darkness, just as she was from the light. Hecate, terrified by his presence, built a barrier to keep the Upside Down Man out of her beautiful domain, as she did not want her precious realm to be soiled by horror. Upside Down Man's purpose is to feed and absorb all magic. The Upside Down Man crossed over into DC's realm during the last era of magic and attempted to destroy everything before being stopped by the JLD. His powers are vast and terrifying. The Upside Down Man is a member of the other kind, does not age and cannot die in the traditional sense. He can also change his appearance at will. He claims he assumes the form he does so that human minds might understand him. He possesses superhuman strength, agility and senses, as well as the ability to recover from any injury to his body. He can manage a wide range of magical powers with ease because he was literally made of magic. And he can most notably generate massive blasts and waves of magical energy. He can also teleport, distribute his powers, use telekinesis and any other magical ability that you can think of. He is also an ancient entity, just like Hegarty, which makes him formidable. Nick Necro illustrates that there is a fine line between love and hate. Nick Necro was a great sorcerer who was the instructor and mentor of both Satana, Satara and John Constantine, as well as being their boyfriend and friend for a period of time. However, Nick's preoccupation with getting the magic books drove the three of them to drift apart, putting him at conflict with the Justice League Dark, whom he finally faces as a cross between Constantine and Satana. Their altercation took place in Nick's apartment, where at the end of the fight, Nick died on top of a rune which served as a portal to hell, and his soul got dragged away, leaving John and Satana victorious. However, Nick also manages to come back from hell and continues his quest for the Books of Magic. He is said to be a master sorcerer with considerable power in the use of magic. He has the strength to take on members of this Justice League Dark, such as Satana and John Constantine. Nick is also a great practitioner of black magic, having taught Satana and Constantine how to use it. This type of magic is notorious for being dangerous and costly to the practitioner. He possesses the capacity to hurl bolts of lightning capable of hurling spirits such as Deadman, indicating that he possesses electrokinesis. Necro has the ability to absorb other people's abilities, such as black orchids. He learnt the skill of backwards magic, also known as logomancy, after his stint in hell. He claimed to have mastered it to a level of proficiency much above Satanas. Finally, Nick can use the phrase draw club zigam lays to protect himself from logomancy's spells. Nick Necro is one of the strongest magis that the JDL ever encountered. Cersei, one of DC's longest running magical villains, has recently teamed up with the Justice League Dark for a number of adventures. Cersei, the ancient witch and lifelong opponent of Wonder Woman and the Justice League, is the villain in question here. She has been fighting Wonder Woman, Batman and Superman since the beginning of her Rebirth era tale as she attempted to regain her soul, utilizing the Pandora pits with Rachel Ghoul and others. Cersei was a lovely woman and was married to a king, harsh and inebriated, and Cersei ended up murdering him. Cersei fled and came across Hecate, who bestowed upon her the witch mark, one-fifth of her eternal soul, providing her mastery of magic and allowing her to carry out her goal to impose her will and power on all who had wronged her. And so began the legend of Cersei the Witch. Her ability to change people into animal hybrids, known as Animen, is the most well-known of her many magical abilities. Cersei was beautiful and powerful, but she lost her soul when she traded her soul to a dimension of hell somewhere along the line. She couldn't get it back, no matter how many spells she cast or how hard she looked. She has a plethora of formidable powers because she is a demigoddess and has a vast array of magical powers at her disposal, including opening portals, shape-shifting, teleportation, possession, flight, along with being well-versed in the occult arts. Cersei has recently become a temporary ally of Wonder Woman, who is being pursued by the goddess Hecate. She has, however, fought the Justice League Dark, forming the Injustice League Dark as a result. 
blight. There was a hideous blight before the Upside Down Man arrived to destroy magic and the world. Blight is a powerful monster, or rather, a gestalt entity that is a result of all of humanity's evils. This entity inhabits the body of Chris Esperanza, a company of the Phantom Stranger who has Blight awakened within him and is not to be confused with the Batman Beyond villain. Overwhelmed by the emotional agony of being resurrected, Chris Esperanza, the Phantom Stranger's companion, awakens Blight within of him, causing his body to become the conduit for Blight. Blight has many powers and abilities such as having cosmic awareness and omnipresent because he is able to keep an eye on all evil doings in the world. He is also adept in magic and can use it to his advantage. One of the ways happens to be pyrokinesis or the ability to start fires with his mind. He also is able to possess people and take over their bodies but the biggest catch of them all is that Blight is immortal. Yes, this creature can never be killed because it is a gestalt entity and thus can only be banished to the collective unconsciousness. Thus he remains a threat even after being banished because he could awake at any point of time. Blight was a major menace to the JLD during the crime syndicate's invasion of Earth in Forever Evil, opposing them while the crime syndicate laid siege on Earth. Blight calls John Constantine Swamp Thing, Nightmare Nurse, Phantom Stranger and Pandora to his New York City headquarters in order to fight and murder them while occupying their friend's body. In the end, Chris continues on after Blight is defeated and banished to the collective unconsciousness, becoming a spirit of redemption. Prolia. As the new 52 era came to an end, so did the first run of Justice League Dark, with the heroes facing off against the likes of Prolia, the embodiment of darkness being older than the entire multiverse and hellbent on destroying it. She is said to be non-existence itself, the emptiness from which the entire multiverse is born and to which it always returns and is known as the goddess of the void. In Justice League Dark 37, she emerges from her sleep, nearly instantly enveloping all of the multiverse's timelines in her vast self. Her ambition is to put an end to all existence and return everything to the primordial cosmic sleep. Prolia is an abstract being but presents itself as a female. Her powers are massive and her weaknesses are non-existent as she predates time and is the embodiment of the void. Her powers range from mind control to flight, teleportation, regeneration and her abilities include the power to manipulate pretty much everything including darkness, time, space and reality itself. She has a staggering amount of power and extraordinary powers, making her a strong opponent for the magical squad. Prolia, like many other villains, didn't last long and was easily defeated. Demons 3 The Demons 3 are a formidable force of nature that the team has faced over the years along with many other teams of heroes in the DC Universe. The Demons 3 are three brothers who once dominated the galaxy but were banished by beings called the Timeless Ones a billion years ago. The Demonic Brothers Abnegaza, Raf, and Ghast are referred to as the Demons Three. The brothers have returned to Earth several times thanks to the efforts of the sorcerer named Felix Faust, but they are almost always defeated by the superhero team. The Green Bell of Uthol, the Silver Wheel of Nyroth, and the Red Jar of Kalithos are the three mystical relics that hold the demons' power. They literally live to destroy anything and everything in their paths and are known for causing chaos and havoc wherever they go. Their powers and abilities include strength and understanding and use of magic including spells and hexes. When Felix Faust began calling them to Earth over the years, they became a frequent foe of the Justice League of America. Their altercation ended with the Demons Three being banished by the heroes. They've become John Constantine's opponents in recent years, and they've also been shown cooperating with veteran DC Comics nemesis Neron. Which one of these is your favorite villain? Did we miss any? Tell us in the comments section below. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already done so. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.